Today, we're going to look at the Donders paradigm. It allows us to study the additive effects of choice on reaction time. We're going to start with a simple reaction time study. This is called the simple task. The task is a series of trials. Each trial in this task consists of a fixation prompt followed by a target stimulus. The fixation prompt is a stimulus designed to help you pay attention to the correct part of the screen. While the target stimulus is the stimulus to which you are expected to respond. My reaction time in the task was 339 milliseconds, but I didn't make any errors. So according to the speed accuracy trade-off, I could have responded more quickly if I was willing to make more errors. Here I am entering the data into an Excel spreadsheet. All data is entered as milliseconds. In the choice task, we're going to see four boxes on the screen and you're going to press the button corresponding to the appropriate box. The choice is between these four positions. So now instead of attending to one place, you're attending to four places on the screen. Hicks law states that each new choice adds time to a person's response time. Each trial now consists of the four fixation prompts followed by a target stimulus, which can appear in one of four positions. My response time in the choice task is now 918 milliseconds. It is substantially longer than my simple reaction time. 